This is part two of the Spider Stripper. <clears throat> Look, you are hired to show me a good time, not not talking about my not not to talk about my personal life. Fine, if that's what you want. Shrugged the red-headed girl. She took Shizuru by the hand and pulled her onto the comfy couch. The emerald-eyed goddess stood there and gave Shizuru a flirtatious wink. In front of the couch was a large round table. The girl, uh, the girl cleared the table of tea bags and magazines by shoving them away. Well, let's just like push them away and all that in the heat of the moment. That will do. By the way, what kind of music do you listen to? Shizuru, Shizuru sighed. I don't listen to music all that much. Unacceptable. <laughs> Unacceptable! Okay. Unacceptable! Replied the disappointed redhead. I hope you like... Oh, I hope you like Perfume. Oh, I know that band. They're really good. I've listened to, like, a couple of their songs. They're really good. The girl walked over to, Shizu to Shizuru's sound system and put... And put in a CD that she put... That she must... That she must... That she must have stuffed into her bra earlier. Someone came prepared. With the proper change in atmosphere, the beautiful, the beautiful stripper, the beautiful stripper hopped onto the table and began teasing her customer with a slow lap dance. Uh, that would be pretty interesting to get a lap dance. I've never had one. I kept hearing, uh, I kept hearing from people on this random on the Glassmon chat that I'm in that uh, I think someone had a lap dance or something I don't really know who but they said it was interesting and stuff that or someone gave someone else a lap dance I don't know I don't remember but I just randomly brought up the conversation one day and that's what it came to anyway back to the story Shizuru was the queen of teasing foreplay and everything else that could Put <laughs> that could put up steam in a woman's wait that could put up steam in a woman's private area. Mm, makes sense. Shizuru is teasing, and that voice, oh, it can make any any person's heart melt. It has with me throughout the years, and it still does to this day. Uh, no, oh, uh, the rare times where, oh, the rare times where Natsuki could attempt something daring. Wait. The rare times where Natsuki would attempt something daring, Shizuru wouldn't, wouldn't still dominate her... Wouldn't... Damn it. Shizuru wouldn't still dominate over her lover. The tables have turned here, no pun intended. For the first time in her life, the tea drinker... <clears throat> the tea drinker felt vulnerable. Captivated by the beautiful movement of this young girl... Of this young girl with eyes of jade not once she not once has she no wait, not once has she ever laid eyes on someone with such amazing legs hmm. I guess I don't know I don't really look at people's legs that much yeah yeah you know what I mean when the <coughs> dang it when the red hat oh wait when the redhead stuck her nice round behind out, Shizuru literally had to control herself. Control yourself, woman. The dance has just started. No need to be all touchy-feely. Her fingers were shaking while... Uh, <laughs> her fingers were shaking with the delight of seeing this beautiful girl dancing before her. What's the matter? Asked the redhead. Nothing. It's just that... You're a good dancer, replied the horny Kyoto native. You've seen. You've seen, snickered the redhead, using her fingers to latch onto the straps of her summer of her summer dress, she pulled them outward. Nothing yet. Oh, you've seen nothing yet, okay. Letting out letting go of the straps, leaving her only oh wait, leaving only her brawn panties. Shizuru gave a Shizuru gave a small girly squeal and and clapped in approval. <laughs> I guess. 
Where it's like, yay, yay, okay. It's like, yay, yay. <laughs> well, then, it, yeah, I don't know. Okay, never mind. Uh, the redhead... The redhead smiled back as she kicked away the summer dress. More graceful than a belly dancer and twice as beautiful, the red-headed girl flowed through the music like a wave. I wonder what music she's using for, you know, what what song she's using from the, from the Perfume album. Because it's not Electro World and it's not the other one, so I don't know. Even even the great Shizuru has no even the great Shizuru was no match for her magical charm as she began to weave her enchanted web around the graceful oh wait, around grace what as she began to weave her enchanted web around grace oh, around the graceful red hazelnut haired girl as she had with so many men and women before, the beautiful spider-like whoop, spider-like girl caused Shizuru to forget Natsuki. The Kyoto girl fell into a trance, a waking dream in which she forgot all about her worries, as, oh, as don't we all. She forgot her past accomplishments, earning, oh, earning back Natsuki's trust and saving the world from the from the oh, obsidian prince, only her and this spider queen existed in this state of sheer bliss. The seductress turned her, turned her. The seductress turned her back to Shizuru, using her hands to slowly unclip her bra. Uh, this should be interesting. Uh, This was quite a tease as Shizuru was getting wet between her legs and wanted to wanted to see what the redhead had to offer. The redhead the redhead unclipped her bra and tossed it uh, against the wall. She turned she turned around in a flash showing her Kyoto customer an impressive set of breasts. Whoa. That could be I don't know. The white, oh wait, white as snow with white as snow with hard pink nipples. Shizuru couldn't stop herself from, wait, Shizuru couldn't stop herself from shaking. She she reached down her pants and began to feel around inside. Jeez, you could have at least waited. I mean, anyway. The red head pouted in, his, in disappointment. She wasn't even finished yet. I'm sorry. You're so hot. I want you right now. Yeah, well, I'm kind of turned off by girls who give in fast. You're different. Different. Don't you... T Don't tell me you were the one in charge. That's what... That's what they say in the... That's what they... That's what they told me in the past. You, on the other hand, are making me feel weak. Weak? Shizuru Fujino? <gasps> I'm flattered. Guess there's no other... Guess there's no other option left, is there? Shizuru stopped touching herself and raised an eyebrow with at the redhead. What are you talking about? No talking. No talking. Replied the spider queen as she knelt down before Shizuru, untying her velvet... Her velvet bathrobe. The redhead, <coughs> the redhead opened the bathrobe as if it were, as if it were a theater curtain, presenting her with quite a stage to perform on. She drew bl blushed beet red. She was helpless against the forceful, against the, f bleh, against the forceful arachnid female, licking her lips. The redhead. The red-headed seductress stared deep into her customer's womanhood. Shaved, pink, tasty. Throughout the rest of the night, the only, th the only thing that could be heard echoing down the hallway was, 
I'm not even gonna say it very properly. It's like, oh, yeah, yes, oh. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you know that is. The Kyoto native got what she wanted. Who was the red, oh. Who was this red-headed goddess? Now Yuki. <laughs> what? That's, oh, that's my name. It's now, now Yuki. The next morning, uh, now still wearing nothing, walked gingerly into the living room and tossed herself onto the couch once again. I guess these, I guess these two had quite a night in the bedroom. Huh? Huh? Now reached for her remote and starts flip, and starts flipping channels. Apparently, Shizuru left the TV on last night. On all the, apparently Shizuru left the TV on all night. Buzz or and so ends <laughs> and so ends day ninety damn it and so ends day can't I'm not doing so good and so ends day ninety eight of the trial of Fuka Academy student Mai Tokiha who's been who's been accused of shooting her brother Mai of shooting her brother Toki oh, of shooting her brother Takumi, oh Takumi Tokiha, Tokiha in cold blood. I never really liked him anyway. Like I said before, uh, the brother and sister were stars in the hit anime series My Hime, which aired in two thousand two thousand four to two thousand five. Oh yeah, I was about, I think I was about fourteen, fifteen at that time. My first episode of seeing them was uh, episode episode four. It was a good anime show. Life wasn't so sweet after the cancellation of their program. Sunrise chewed them up and spat them. Uh, Sunrise chewed them up and spit and spat them out. At f a frustrated Mai Tokiha was then charged for aggravated assault against her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. I while her, while her more scheduled, boy, while her more subdued brother fell into which a, while her more subdued brother fell in with a mysterious group of transsexual ninjas, led by the leader, led by their leader who is apparently a young woman, so now my Tokiha will. So now my Tokiha will be brought in for questioning and a verdict will be ru will be ruled out. Well, I should have probably I don't know. I know probably would, I know some people would probably say that this, that that guy had it coming, but yeah. Hmm. Oh. I hope that bitch <laughs> I hope they fry this bitch <laughs> scowled 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 now Shizuru made her way into the living room only to find now loafing around did I mention she was naked <laughs> now looked back at the Kyoto girl shrugging shrugging her shoulders good morning good morning to you too replied Shizuru don't worry I'll be out of here soon groaned <clears throat> don't worry I'll be out of here soon Groaned now as she got up and picked up her and picked up her summer dress off the floor. Did you did you know you left your TV on all night? I wasn't aware of that. Who? I wasn't aware of that. Who could blame you? <laughs> who could blame you with? Who could blame you with over ten orgasms last night? Ten? I can only get like. Three or one throughout the day, and she was able to get ten. Jeez, her sexual frustration must, her sexual pent up frustration must have been like over the top or something. I mean, jeez, gotta give her credit. But then again, people who have done those masturbation day things. Probably have done more than that, but I still give them credit. 
in her guys last night. I'd ignore the TV too. <laughs> yeah, if I was in her position, probably same thing. Shizuru laughed and, be and began writing a check for now. You're funny, Miss Yuki. She hands, she hands the check over to the redhead. Now accepts, oh, now accepts and folds the check up. Well, I guess this is it. Yes, I guess so. Well, okay then. Bye. Now turns around, walking ever so slowly towards the door, as if she were expecting Shizu to call her back, much to her, much to her surprise. Wait! Shizu, oh wait, now turned around in a flash. Yeah? Shizu forgot she was, Shizu forgot what she was going to say next. Why was she feeling so attached to a, to a prostitute stripper? Maybe because you have feelings for her? Just saying. Perhaps she was missing Natsuki so much that she needed someone like now to fill her, sh to fill her shoes. That probably as well. The thought of, the thought of rebounding, the. The, the thought of rebounding bothered her so much that she took extra long to respond. Now it didn't seem impatient with her. She. She anticipated. Uh, she anticipated this somehow. You know, I have a. Oh, you know, I have a friend, and she paid her stripper five. Oh. Five hundred fifty thousand yen to become her permanent love slave. Did you? Is that even possible? Anyway. Did you ever hear anything like that? She's. <laughs> now his face changed completely. Her emerald eyes were like daggers pointing directly at Shizuru. Okay. Now slowly walks over to Shizuru and now the two were face to face. You want to buy a human being in this day and age? Well, in this day and age, in underground stuff, people still do that, unfortunately. And, just saying. Shizuru laughed nervously and nodded her head. Um, yeah? Do you realize what you've said, Miss Fujino? What you just, what you just asked me is cruel, immoral, and disrespectful towards women. That part is true. I mean, women aren't something to play around with. Seriously. Uh... There are no, p there are no price. Oh, there are no price tags on me. I'm an independent woman in a hardworking business. It may be, it may be a dirty business, but sometimes we don't have a choice, Miss. I gotta do that again. It may be a dirty business, but sometimes we don't have a choice, Miss Fujino. Sometimes we don't have any choice. How dare you? I didn't mean. Oh no. Sure. I hope no one gets slapped. I don't remember that much of this, but I just hope not. I didn't mean anything by it. I was just making a conversation. What's this? Now suddenly burst into laughter. What's so funny? Shizuru looked at her and wondered why she would why she would laugh about something like that. Did she say something wrong? You're so You are so stupid! <laughs> Sorry if my laugh is it. Sorry if my laugh is so fake. All these Japanese country oh, are all these Japanese country girls as clueless as you? Of course I'll be your love slave. Well, okay, that worked out good, I guess. Okay, I gotta hurry. Uh, someone might be coming to this. Um, I'm at the house by myself, and I have to hurry because very little time between this. Okay, uh. Shizuru totally forgot about the fact that attract. Shizuru totally forgot about the fact that the attractive seductress was call just called her stupid. She was completely thrilled about now accepting the offer without any trouble. The two hug. The two girls hugged one another, giving Shizuru the chance to inhale now sweet perfume smell. Perfume smell once again. I don't know what to say. Is this so? 
That is so nice of you, Miss Yuki. Call me now. It's sexier. Besides, you're a, you're a nice girl, Shizuru. You wouldn't believe how many men treat treat me like crap. I can only imagine, especially how people nowadays are. Like I'm a tr oh. Like I'm a trashy Paris Hilton clone or something. No, now is different than her. Now then, oh, now then hands, now then hands a web me business card to Zuru. Here's my personal mobile mobile number. Never call the actual com. Never call that. Never call the actual company. They'll just put you on hold and eventually transfer you to some <laughs> to some other slut. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much. I'll be. I'll be sure to call you whenever I need you. Hey, maybe I should... Hey, maybe I should take you over to WebMe and show you how I roll. Uh, it's, re it's really slamming. Sure, we should... Sure, we should do that sometime. How about tomorrow? 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 I'm sorry, I can't. Why? It's not like Nasky's gonna... Oh, that's just harsh. It's not like Natsuki's going to call back. You don't... Oh, though that's that's a bit harsh. Just saying. You don't know that. You're right. I don't know that. Until you know that, you... You could be... Oh, you could be out having some fun. Yeah, she kind of does make a point. I mean, staying in one... Staying in one spot and waiting for someone to call or waiting for someone to respond over something... It's kind of like a one out of ten chance or something. I can relate to this, not with the relationship I was telling you about, but in a different circumstance over something that was petty uh, two years ago. And yeah, I, yeah, just say. Anyway, oh, you could be out having some fun. This is kind of true. Believe me, it is true. Bitchin'. <laughs> Pick you up at seven. Uh. Oh, this is almost done. Yes. Shizuru closed the door, looking at the looking at the business card. Looking at the business card, Crimson Eye. Wait. Shizuru closed the door, looking at the business card. Crimson Eyes began. Began pin. Oh, it became pin. Damn it. Let me start again. Shizuru closed her eyes, looking at the business card. Crimson eyes became ping pong balls when she spotted oh when she spotted when she spotted Nao's kiss on the back of the card. Oh oh that. That's kind of like a really personal, intimate thing, I believe. It was clear to her now that she was in oh she was in a time of desperate. She was in a time of desperation. The love and sex was missing in her life, and now that, and now that it's back, she wants to find a perfect balance for it all. Thoughts of Nasky swirled around in her head, but she couldn't help. But she couldn't help thinking about now Yuki. The girl wasn't even in her twenties yet, but she wasn't. Uh. Uh, I'm not even going to question it. Anyway, the girl wasn't even in her 20s yet, and already she... And already she was the one... And already she was the one thing Shizuru secretly desired more than anything in this world. The Spider Lady in Red. The end of chapter one. And just in time, too. I think someone is coming up in my driveway. I think that's my mom. Anyway... This is uh, chapter one of the Spider Stripper. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to hopefully do uh, chapter two, hopefully soon. I don't know really, I'm not sure when. I have like college stuff and training and an upcoming fight, hopefully coming soon. I don't really know, but I still have to trade for that and family and everything. So it's going to really take some time for me to go do chapter two or do other stuff. In the meantime, I'll just do random stuff on this YouTube channel or whatever. So, I'm just rambling now, and I think they're coming up to the door. I'm going to end it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this chapter. Um, stay awesome, be yourselves, and see you guys in the next fanfiction reading on this blog.
thing, YouTube. See you guys next time.